Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Charles Sabanson. We welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today we got a hell of a show uh, in store for you guys. Before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and sub to the channel. Also, we want to thank you guys for helping us hit 200,000 subs. We really appreciate all the support that you guys have given us over the years, and we ask that you continue to support this channel as we continue to grow. Appreciate you guys. Let me get into this topic here. So, yesterday there was a pretty pretty big game in the association it was game two of the nba finals as you guys know game one the 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 dallas mavericks got routed in that game but in game two they came out and put forth a, a bit more of a competitive effort but ultimately they ended up losing uh to the boston celtics and let me just pull up the box score in a 105 98 uh what is it contest right but going into that game, there was a pretty interesting storyline that was kind of circulating out there. And that storyline was, who is truly the best player on the Boston Celtics? Because Jason Kidd had come out there and came out there and said, uh, uh, he believes Jalen Brown is their best player. And then there was a soundbite of Drew Holiday saying that uh, Jalen Brown is their best player. And it created this kind of conversation. So what happened? In yesterday's game, we went, you know, they went into that game, and I think it was an opportunity for Jason Tatum to kind of answer some of these comments. But Jason Tatum, in two consecutive games, has not even been able to make an argument for himself. Although the Boston Celtics won that game, uh, Jason Tatum shot 27% from the field uh, and scored 18 points uh, in that game. He had three turnovers. Their best player, their most efficient player yesterday was Drew Holiday with 26 points on 70 damn near 79 percent shooting from the field for 50 percent shooting from the 300 percent from the free throw line and he finished that game with 11 big rebounds two assists and zero turnovers but jalen brown on the other hand he was also a bright spot he finished the game was shooting 53 percent from the field and 21 points now he did have six turnovers which made his plus minus negative three but overall he had a better game right he had a better game and now it seems like the conversation is really starting to become real where people believe that Jalen Brown is the better player on the Boston Celtics. And that's what we want to get into uh, really more in depth here today. But before we even get into that, this video is brought to you by our sponsor Game Time, who's the official sponsor of today's show. Game Time makes getting NBA Finals tickets even faster and easier than ever before. For example, I am super excited about the games between the Dallas Mavericks and the Boston Celtics in the NBA Finals. With game time tickets, I can easily pick the best tickets for me. I love that I can choose between different deals. I have the option to select the cheaper deal, the best option deal, or my favorite, the flash deal. The flash deal gives me the option to find discounts that I can only find on game time. Once I select the ticket I want, I can see view my seat. And it's not just restricted to the NBA. I can also look for the best ticket deals for other sports like football, baseball, or concerts, or comedy, or theater shows. Included in my purchase, I also have a 24-hour return guarantee, a lowest price guarantee, event cancellation protection. So take the guesswork out of buying NBA tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code CLNS for $20 off your first purchase. Again, create an account and redeem code CLNS for $20 off. And remember, whenever you support this sponsor, you're supporting this channel. Thank you. Now, what's interesting is before we act, before we produce this show, we actually put up a poll on our channel community section about 33 minutes ago. You guys can also go vote on the poll if you haven't voted. By the time you see this show, it'd be a number of hours uh, prior to us releasing this poll. Um, but we, we asked the question, who's the Boston Celtics best player, Jason Tatum or uh, Jalen Brown? Out of the 785 voters, 70 percent are voting for Jalen Brown, have voted Jalen Brown. Um, another person said Jalen Brown's hand. One person said Jalen Brown's handle pressure well, and he seems like a leader. Some players are elite and shrink with pressure, and some are elite and grow with pressure. The Celtics have one of each. Ooh, ouch. Um, another person said Chris Taps Porzingis. Um, another person said there is no clear dominant player. It's one A one B. If their if their egos don't ruin it, they probably win a few uh, championships together. And a few other people had one or two other things to say. Uh, about it coming into this series i think most of us pegged um or picked uh um 
Jason Tatum to be the, the, the better player, right? I think all of us agreed with that. Um, so that wasn't, you weren't breaking any news if you said Jason Tatum is their, be, is their best player. Um, certainly, you know, a lot of people have been arguing on, argue, arguing on his behalf this whole season. Why doesn't he get enough respect, especially in the MVP conversation uh, and all of that? So whenever they refer to the Boston Celtics, they always refer to uh, Jason Tatum. But in the playoffs, Jalen Brown has been a really bright spot. I think he won, won the Eastern Conference Finals MVP award and he even went up there and said he was surprised that he even won the award. But he's been playing at a very, very, very high level uh, all throughout these playoffs. And he has been the better player for the Boston Celtics in these first two games of the NBA Finals. Here's what I think is going to happen. Well, first of all, let's discuss the series. Do I think Dallas has a chance to come back in this series? Yes, I do. I do. I'm not going to cast any judgment on this series until uh, game three is played and game four is played. Once those games are over with, then we'll then we'll really have a better understanding. Now, if Dallas goes and drops one of those games, and I think it's fair to say that this series will be over. Uh, but um, for now, I'm not ready to go that far. Let me see how the you know how this series uh, series pans. I think I picked the Mavs to win this series. I think I picked them in. I think it was either six or seven. I don't know. But I think I, I remember picking the Mavs to win this series. So it's still time. We'll have to see how that goes. Uh, but in terms of who's the better player between these two guys right now, thus far, I think it's looked like Jalen Brown. I think if the Boston Celtics win this finals and Jalen Brown has an opportunity or ends up winning the finals MVP, I think then people will automatically change that opinion and say that, look, no, uh, Jalen Brown is the better player. Now, I know this is something that bothers uh, Jason Tatum, because when Jason Kidd originally said that, he said a lot of people are trying to draw a wedge between us and all. So that means that he believes he's the best player. So for him to hear other people saying that Jalen Brown is a better player than he is, it seems like it is news to him, right? It seems like it is news to him uh, and something he probably didn't hear before. But look, you're on the finals. If you if you if you believe that you are the best player in the world, you got to show it with your performance. This is the biggest stage. And you got to live up to the moment. Luka Doncic certainly is. Kyrie isn't. Now, we're talking about the Dallas Mavericks quickly. Uh, Kyrie Irving isn't. Kyrie Irving isn't playing at a level that you would need him to play in order for this series to be competitive. Luka's been playing well, although I think this last game he had like eight turnovers or something, which is horrendous. But Kyrie isn't playing very well, right? So the two best players on either team have been Luka and Jalen Brown in my personal view. So the question to you guys is, who do you think is the best player and how do you see this series moving forward? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section and we catch you guys on the next show. Peace.